Arkadaşlar sayı bir tutmanın tarafından bir yüzden bir tanıyan bir yuvarlandı oradan bir tanıyan bir yüzden bir When I was saying all of these things, when I was saying all of these things, people weren't really listening or maybe they just didn't want to face the reality of whatever it is that I was saying. But guys, if you're somebody who is, you know, just a normal person, you know, wanting to do better, getting better, or if you're somebody who is winning, you know, they say that success attracts envy unfortunately is the truth it shouldn't be that way you know it shouldn't be that way but unfortunately it is the truth guys so what i would say to you is if you're <laughs> actually if you're wondering why i'm wearing this t-shirt on top of the one underneath is because the one underneath mm, is one i like to wear because of the inscription that is got on it some people just like to know because you get the ones that say oh you're odd you're this you're that you're that i like to wear certain clothes because of the inscription and the affirmations that they have on them so i will wear them and wear them and wear them and wear them you know until i feel as if that affirmation is actually imprinted on my dna mm -hmm. for those of you who just don't get it i have to explain everything verbatim Mm, or verbatim, verbatim, verbatim. You say tomorrow, I say tomorrow. Anyway, that's why I like to wear some of my t-shirts until there's no wearing them anymore. Mm, that's the reason why I would just keep on wearing some clothes over and over and over again because I like the positive message that is got on it. Mm, if you must know. <laughs> anyway, before I start fighting with the computer again. Before I start fighting with my screen, guys, when I was telling you guys that so many of you guys are being recorded that you don't know about it, unfortunately, this this problem, this hidden camera prob, this hidden camera problem, it's a human behavior problem. It's just a problem of human behavior. So basically, I come from a generation whereby certain people just wouldn't wouldn't do certain things you know when you you know when they say there are unwritten rules if you come from a certain generation you just know that there are certain things that people of that generation just wouldn't do you know as an unwritten rule but it's totally different now this idea of recording people you know, recording people verbally, recording people visually, recording people secretly, because there's this huge market of people who love to just watch people. Watching people in a manner in which the other people feel uncomfortable. It's called voyeurism. If you want to know about voyeurism, you can just go online and check. But people have actually become addicted to watching other people in a way that's just, um, it's in a way that's sinister. It's actually sinister. It's very, very sinister, obviously, because the people they're watching don't know that they're being watched. So they're just living their normal life. You know, they're living their life, doing whatever it is normal people do, you know, doing whatever it is they do in their houses, you know, totally oblivious to the fact that somebody is watching their every move so i'm just telling you if you're somebody who has a lot of tech maybe you have a lot of tech you have a lot of camera cameras in your house guys all of this equipment i cannot sit here and tell you don't get your tech obviously i can't do that i can't do that because i cannot tell any other human being how to live but all i would say to you is be mindful of the generation that we're living in. Be mindful of the era that we're living in. Be mindful of the fact that people are recording almost everything that... What am I saying? Almost everything. Everything that we're doing, you know? So, guys, you've got to live with some level of awareness, knowing that, that people are just... Where money is involved, people just lose their heads. Guys, I don't, 
if only if only i could find a way single-handedly to stop it i would love to stop it but the thing is it's a big money industry it's a big money industry and the issue that we have at the moment is that the people that we trust okay like the people that the people that i trusted when i was coming up you know the people who i used to look to back in the day for advice they turned out to be the perpetrators you know of a, of a very very big hidden cameras scheme should i call it rats remote access tracking whereby they can basically track all of your movements every single thing that you're actually doing in life so guys these were the people that i when i was a young person growing up you know when i was a younger i used to look to them you know for mentorship and information i don't anymore because i know exactly the kind of people that they are yeah so i don't look to those people anymore so in a no in an in an ideal world they would have been the people to speak out about this problem but now that everybody knows that they did it to me they don't have a foot to stand on guys i'm going to repeat this again in case anybody will say oh that they were confused by what i said the people who are who were the juggernauts you know the big people the people that we used the people that of my generation i know i'm not the only one a lot of us used to go to those people you know for mentorship you know when we needed information when we had a problem you know when we wanted solutions they were the kind of people that we used to go to but in light of what they did to me they can no longer use their platform to talk about it hmm they would have been the ones to go on their platform to actually talk and speak to the authorities about the problem of you know hidden camera but they can no longer do it because they sabotaged themselves by what they did to me hmm? the biggest media mogul in the united states of america guys up until today i cannot believe it up until tomorrow I find it hard to reconcile the fact that she could do something like that. That she could even involve herself in something like that. But you know what they say, you don't know people until you know people. But now we know exactly the kind of person that she is. So guys, I have spoken about this severally. So many people have spoken about it because everybody knows about it, yeah? Because they turned, they turned spying on people into a game. Mm? and so many people so many people got caught in the crossfire so many people collected stray bullets mm? just out of their own stupidity but anyway guys to come back to the matter at hand so we're now in a situation whereby the people who we look to to help us when we have a problem are the people who wounded us so we have to take care of ourselves so i would say to you if you have that mind if you really do have that mind to protect yourself to protect your loved ones to protect your children those of you who have children when children are involved guys you know now what it's like when children are involved but these people they don't care they're voyeurs they enjoy it they receive large amounts of money because they're people who just enjoy watching other people's lives and like i said it's not like they're coming onto your social media platforms to watch your life and see what you're doing no they're actually inside your life inside your house inside your phone your toaster your microwave your fridge any appliance eh? anything electronic hmm? they even know how to get through things that are not even electronic non-electronic appliances guys the only thing that i would advise you is that number one all things me all things i take to god because nothing is impossible with god this is one thing this is one truth that i am sure of that nothing absolutely nothing is impossible with god so 
for me, my starting point is always to take everything to Elohim. If you're somebody who is not used to praying, if you're the kind of person that says, oh my God, I don't even know how to pray. Take your pen and paper. I believe that you know how to write. Some people don't use pen and paper in this day and age. I'm a traditionalist. I will always use pen and paper. And I actually believe that I'm somebody who writes better than I actually speak. That's up for debate. I don't really know whether it's true or false, but I love to write things down because I know the power of the written word. Guys, once you have written something, you have written it. Mm? If you have that belief behind whatever you have written, what you write, it will definitely come true. It will. Without a shadow of a doubt, it will come true. Secondly, activate your awareness. Like I said, if you can reduce the amount of tech that you have, I applaud you because number one, you will save money. Number two, you will reduce the amount of people who are spying on you and wanting to know every single thing that you're doing. Number three, you know, you will just be able to contain your life. It's like the more phones you buy, you, the, more, the more tech you have, the, the more difficult it is to actually, you know, keep a handle on all the things that you've got. Guys, I know that I'm speaking to somebody. I know that I'm speaking to people. Mm? The more stuff you have, the more difficult it is to actually catalog and control what you have. I know. I don't even have as much things as people have, you know, in reality. But I find it difficult to manage the small things that I have. So you can imagine if you have all of these technical devices, all of these computers, phones. I don't, honestly, I don't even know how you guys do it. I really don't know how you do it because sometimes I can lose my head with just one phone. I can just get overwhelmed by it because I'm that kind of person. I cannot deal with stress. Because life can be stressful already without having to deal with extra stress. Number four, keep an eye on the people that you have around you. If you employ people, if you have a large, what am I saying, large amount of stuff. If you, if you employ people, keep an eye on them. Keep an eye on them. Research them. When I say keep an eye on them, I'm not telling you to spy on your employees. No, that's not what I'm saying. Because I, I know that some people do spy on their employees. Some people spy on their staff. Yeah. Some of them do it for a laugh. Some of them do it because they suspect them of stealing from them. But guys, you have to keep an eye on the people that you have in your em employ. Especially if they live with you. If they live with you, definitely, you, you just have to have an awareness of the kind of people that they are. Not that you spy on them, because I don't, nobody's going to twist this video. Nobody is going to twist what I'm saying. Those that understand what I'm saying know exactly what I'm saying. Know the kind of people that you're employing. Know the kind of people that you're bringing, not just your staff. That was going to be my fifth point. Know the kind of people that you bring into your life into your life, into your personal space. Know about them. Guys, you never ever know people. You never ever know people, especially when you get to the point where you're successful. Guys, success is not just financial success. Success is not just financial success. I am successful, but I am not financially wealthy. But I'm a very, very successful woman. There is nobody in this world that I want to talk to that I cannot speak to. There is nothing in this world that I want to influence that I cannot influence. I'm not boasting. I am just telling you the facts. There is no social, economical, political or welfare issue. You know, that's so that the video doesn't get too long. Obviously, there are other aspects that I could call as well. You know, there's fashion, there's culture, there's tourism, you know, there's food, there's housing, there's socio-economic policies, there's fiscal policies, financial policies. Guys, I could sit here all day. I am a very, very successful woman. However, I am not 
I am not solvent. I am not yet financially successful. However, that does not prevent me from doing my job. Not even for one day. The Bible itself says, seek first the kingdom of God and everything else shall be added unto you. If you think that I'm paraphrasing it, you can always go and look for the exact verse. Elohim, he says it himself, seek first the kingdom of God and all else shall be added unto you. Guys, there's nothing that I lack. There's nothing that I lack. There's nothing that I need that I cannot get. I know that for myself. Hmm? It is a solid truth that I have always known for myself. I know that push comes to shove. There is nothing that I would need in this world that I couldn't get. I'm sorry guys, I didn't mean to spray you. Hmm? It's just the emotion of what I'm talking about. In this day and age where people don't have those boundaries that maybe people of my age have. Guys, you really have to activate your awareness. Especially if you're somebody who has to deal with a lot of people all day long. Because when it comes to money, people get greedy. When it comes to money, people get greedy. Eh? There's nothing like... Oh, this person is my blood relative. Nothing like that. Nothing like that. You would, guys, you would be surprised. You would be shocked. You would be shocked. You would be shocked at the people who would actually end up betraying you. You would be shocked. As a matter of fact, you would even swear that the person can never ever do such a thing to you. You would swear. You would. You would swear, ah, oh, this kind of person... I have said it several times. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Don't swear Bible for anybody. Don't swear Bible for anybody. When it comes to money, people are greedy. People are greedy. Hmm? People are greedy. They lose their head. When it comes to fame and fortune, people lose their head. Guys, it has happened with me all of the time. You guys have witnessed it. Hmm? Should I sit like this because it looks as if I've got goit on my neck when I don't or gout on my neck. Huh? Guys, when it comes to fame, people lose their heads. Hmm? People that never liked you, people that don't really like you, they will suddenly reappear. Why? They want to be known. Fame is even more addictive than money. This is one of the things that I have learned growing up. People want to be famous more than they want to be rich. That's why all of a sudden, certain times, you see people that you haven't seen for ages. They just pop up in your life. Out of nowhere, they just show up. They don't even want, they don't want the money. They want to be famous because they know the power of fame. They know what you can do with fame. Hmm? They will just show it up in your life all of a sudden. That thing that you have, they want it too. Guys, they will record your conversation. They will record their, your conversation. They will screen grab your conversation that you're having with them. Why? Because they're, they're wondering if they can use it later for some sinister purpose. Those of you that travel a lot, that stay in hotels a lot, eh? those people that play away, the people that play away, some, so many of these people that work in hotels, they, they sell off the footage that they gather. They sell off the footage that they garner from hotel rooms. They sell it off to other people. They have suppliers. Hmm? The people in these industries, they have suppliers. Hmm? The people that give them all of this footage of whatever it is you do when you go on your getaways, when you go on your holidays, your meetings. Because we all know that so many things happen in hotel rooms, not just sex, not just sex. So many people, people have high powered business meetings in hotel rooms. Hmm? Businesses are made, fortunes, empires are made. In hotel rooms it's not just about sex so many people guys 
It's about human behavior. People no longer have those boundaries that we used to have. People just don't have that ba those boundaries anymore. Why? Because they want to make money. So somebody is sitting somewhere on a porn site. One of your staff in your hotel that works for you is supplying them with footage from all of the hidden cameras that they that they run on a daily in your hotel guys it's a human problem it's a human problem that's why i'm saying to activate your awareness because i keep on thinking to myself how are we gonna solve this problem because it is a problem of human behavior and those are the kind of problems that are the hardest to solve because it's to do with human behavior if the people don't have boundaries what are you going to do if the people don't have boundaries and they don't have any moral fiber, what are you going to do? Guys, I feel so sad. I feel so sad because this is something, this is something that I have been talking about for ages. I have been talking about this thing for ages and it's just getting, it's gotten worse. The police, the authorities, you know, the 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 hoi polloi that's what i call them the hoi polloi the people that we actually rely on to solve these problems we can no longer rely on them because they have eaten what they shouldn't eat the people that we rely on the people that we used to rely on to solve all of these problems for us to speak about these problems for us the people who we used to rely on to give us a voice they have eaten what they shouldn't eat so they can no longer stand up for us huh guys i pray that god protects you honestly whatever it is you do whatever situation you find yourself i pray that god protects you because in this kind of a situation you go but for the grace of god it's just for the grace of god any place that you're going to eh? i always think about it all the time i think about it all the time guys you know me now i will tell you guys the truth i will tell you guys exactly what i'm thinking i think about this all the time i think about it all the time i think to myself god when people just want to go away on holiday or you just want to go on a romantic you know you not even on holiday you might just want to go to a hotel you know with the person that you love just to spend some quality time i know without a shadow of a doubt so many of these hotels they're recording people hmm? you just go away for a romantic trip guys it's so sad it really is so sad but i've given you some pointers I have given you some pointers. It's all about awareness. Activate your awareness. If you can reduce the amount of tech that you have, it will help. Mm -hmm. If you can check the kind of people that you allow into your life, it will help. Mm -hmm. If you can check the kind of people that you actually bring into your home, it will help. Not every person that is coming into your home is your friend. Hmm? Not every person that... It doesn't matter how they present themselves. It doesn't matter how they present themselves. Success brings a lot of envy. Success brings envy. It really does. You might ask yourself, you might ask yourself the question, yeah, but... I didn't hurt anybody to be successful, you know. I worked hard for my success. When, when has that ever stopped anybody from being jealous? When? The fact that you worked hard for your success. Tell me, when has it ever stopped anybody from being jealous? Hmm? Human beings are human beings. They want what you have without working for it. Hmm? I'm going to say it again. They want what you have without working for it i could spend 24 hours a day in this house praying to god all kinds of prayers somebody will still call me a witch hmm? it's human nature it is human nature i could actually record myself 
24 hours of a day praying to God. Mm? Fire prayer, Holy Ghost prayer, all kind of prayer. Still, somebody will say, oh, the witch is praying. Guys, it is human nature. When you were starting, guys, I remember when I started this thing. Mm? I remember when I started this thing, I have told this story so many times. One day I woke up, I said to myself, okay, I don't have a husband. I don't have a boyfriend. I don't have a child. I don't, I don't have a children. <laughs> well, true. I don't have a children. I don't have children. And I said to myself, so when I die, what is my legacy going to be? Because I think that the worst thing to happen to a human being is that they lived and they died and they didn't have a legacy. Mm -hmm. A legacy, you know, if you don't know the meaning of a legacy, you can just Google it. Legacy, just something that you have left behind. Mm? Something you left behind. Something good that you left behind for the earth, for the world. Mm? In layman's terms. That's what I was thinking, because this is the kind of person I am. I said, so, hmm, my own, when I die now, what are they going to say? And she lived, she died. And I said to myself, heaven forbid. I would hate to be the kind of person that lives and dies without a legacy. So I started, you know, so I started saying to myself, okay, what am I going to do? I said to myself, okay, in those days, I said to myself, I'm going to be the diamond motivator because I love diamonds. I love diamonds. I do. I love diamonds. I really, really do. And in those days, I used to be obsessed. I used to be obsessed. So I said to myself, okay, I'm going to be the diamond motivator. Those of you that are my spotters, you know this story already because I've told it so many times. So I used to call myself the diamond motivator. But Elohim, he has a sense of humor. I love him. He has a sense of humor. So I used to call myself the diamond motivator. I say the diamond motivator. Dream. Uh, dream. <laughs> dream, believe, achieve. That was it. From morning to night. Every post, everywhere. Eh? In those days, we didn't even have we didn't have Instagram. Hmm? In those days, it was Facebook. It used to be dream, believe, achieve. Every post. If you don't believe me, you can go to Facebook. Facebook, they're gonna get some uh, they're gonna get some love out of this post, obviously, because all of you guys are gonna go to post. You're gonna go to look for my posts on Facebook, guys. One thing you should know about me. I am extremely good at what I do. I can promote Periwinkle. I can promote Periwinkle without using money. I can promote Camouflage without using money. Guys, when it came to influencing, they put my name all over it. When it comes to influencing, they put my name all over it. That's why I can influence anything. I learned it from Candy Burroughs. I used to watch uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. I used to watch it back to back to back to back to back every Saturday. Why? Not for the drama. I used to watch it for the fashion. And then I fell in love with Candy. Yeah, I fell in love with Candy because that woman, she can spin anything. She can make money out of anything. There is nothing that she cannot make money out of. And that's why I fell in love with her. Mm? That's why I fell in love with... That's why I always... Guys, that's why I always talk about her. She is the one... <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I always get emotional anytime I'm telling this story. Anybody in life that teaches me an invaluable lesson. I talk about the person until the day that I die. She taught me a lesson that money cannot buy. And that is why I fell in love with that woman. Mm -hmm. Up until today, I'm still talking about her. I talk about her all the time. She taught me how to spin anything. If you say something bad about me, I will spin it. You say something good about me, I will spin it. You make me cry, I will spin it. You make me laugh, I will spin it. There is nothing in this world that I can't spin. If you think I'm joking, you can test me. If you think that I'm joking, you can challenge me. I can spin anything. Hmm? <laughs> Guys. Guys. So that this video that is already 
up and down, up and down, up and down, all over the place. Let me stop it. So that those of them that are confusionists, so that they don't get too confused. The thing that you should take from this video is that this is the age of hidden camera. Hmm? I know that some of my spotters out there, the ones who are practical, the ones who are problem solvers, I know that they're going to rise to this challenge. You see the equipment that they're using to check for hidden camera. When I had that feeling in my intuition that I was being spied on, I went on to eBay and I bought one of those devices that that you, you saw in that video that that guy was using. I bought one of those devices and like he said, the, the noise, the noise that w they were transmitting from the device, it was just, it was too high. I don't know whether they do that on purpose or not, but... It didn't even it didn't give me the results that I wanted so to my mind it turned out to be a waste of money but the mind the mind that true mind it always knows it always knows I always had that feeling because I went on to eBay I bought that piece of equipment I went all around the house I was looking for the hidden cameras I couldn't I called the council and they brought somebody the person came in he, the person was laughing at me, but I believe that they knew. Hmm? Guys, all of, when you, <coughs> excuse me, guys, when you have workers, workmen, when you have workers, workmen, I'm not saying that they're all like that. They're not all like that, but so many of them are because there's so much profit in the porn industry, hmm? in the adult sex industry. There is so much profit in that industry and from my mind and from my own investigation people enjoy watching the real life the real life amateur porn people enjoy watching that more than the porn stars yeah guys the truth is the truth the truth is the truth we cannot dress up the truth the truth is just the truth and I have to give you the truth the way it is. People enjoy that real life one. They enjoy it more than, you know, the porn stars who are actually, you know, certified porn stars. They enjoy the real life one because they are voyeurs, voyeurs. They like to see what people do in the privacy of their own home. They like to see what people get up to when they think that they're not being watched it's a behavioral problem it's a behavioral problem how are you gonna stop it how are you gonna stop it in an age where people have gotten so addicted to watching people like that how are we gonna stop it guys it's open to debate oh. it is open to debate I I keep on coming on to do these videos to say to you guys, guys, try this, try that, try that. If you're the kind of woman who likes to walk around the house naked, I would advise you to stop. Because nine times out of ten, somebody is watching. The person who might be watching, it might even be your spouse. It could even be your spouse spying on you. So many people spy on their partners because that element of trust is not there because the trust doesn't exist between them so some people just spy on their partners because they want to know what they're up to hmm? you don't know how many people are spying on you in addition to your partner it could be happening to you you don't know you might just think to yourself oh you enjoy free living you know, you, after all, you're in your house. People should be able to feel free in their houses. But no, because of these people, because these people are so sick and twisted in their behavior, we can no longer enjoy the privacy of our own houses. This is the situation where we find ourselves because of these sick and twisted people. The truth is the truth. The truth is the truth. I can't come here always to say to you, ah, 
use rainbow glitter hydro gel it will make your face beautiful i can't always come and give you those feel good posts sometimes i just have to come and give you the truth the way that the truth is hmm? we can no longer enjoy that privacy of just being in your house or feeling free maybe you just wanted to wear just your knickers maybe you didn't want to wear your knickers yeah just to be in your own house to feel free we know we can't do it anymore because of these sick and twisted people that we used to look up to because they are the ones who have made this behavior acceptable to some other sick and twisted people like them they are the ones who are responsible for this surge in hidden cameras they are the ones responsible because when they did it some people thought, okay, these people did it, so it's okay. Eh? Let me tell you the truth. Mm? Let me tell you the gospel truth. They are the ones who are responsible for this surge, this increase in secret hidden cameras. Because they did it, yeah, and they have such a high profile, so many other people felt it's okay. Because they are the ones that did it. They gave these people the okay, yeah, to perpetrate this behavior. So if you are looking for anybody to blame, you know where to go to. They are the ones who made it feel okay to some other sick people like them. It is their fault. They are the ones who are at fault. So if you people are looking to, for anybody that you want to punish, you can punish them. Hmm? If you guys are looking for anybody that you want to punish for the surge and the increase in secret hidden camera videos spying on everyday people in real life everywhere that they go to, you know the people who you can go to. They are the ones who made it feel okay for some other people who are sick and twisted like them. That is the truth. Yeah? There you have it. They are the ones who are responsible for this. Yeah? They are the ones who are responsible for this. Because when people who are rich, famous, have a lot of money, wealthy, have a lot of followers, have a lot of people who look up to them, when they do something, a lot of people say, okay, so and so has done it. It's okay. Anyway, I don't know if this is the longest no it's not the longest i was about to say i don't know if this is the longest video that i've done in history but hey guys i try my best to right from the beginning when i used to call myself diamond the diamond motivator when i used to say to people every day dream believe achieve dream believe achieve dream my my main purpose was to do good and to help people i am still that person that wants to do good to help people if you're somebody out there who wants to help me do my job to the best of my ability, please, thank you very much for helping me. But if you're one of those people who decides you don't want to help me, I will ruin you. I am ready. I'm ready. If you're one of those people in French, they call them agent saboteur. If you're one of those people who wants to sabotage what I do, you want to sabotage my movement. You want to sabotage the things that I do. I am ready to ruin you. I have become as ruthless as they are. I am going to beat them. What am I talking about going to? I have already beaten them at their own game. Because they are no longer free. When they go to places, they are no longer free. They are not. Those people who I used to look up to for advice... When they go to places, they're no longer free. It's always in their head. It's always in their head. That thing that we did to Anne, maybe people want to do it to us. They're no longer free, guys. I'm telling you the gospel truth. Those people that did that thing to me, they are no longer free. Anywhere they go to in this world, they are no longer free. Because it's always in their head. That thing that they did to me, that somebody, because they know how many supporters I have now, they know that my supporters are all over the world. So they know for a fact that they are no longer free. 
They know the way that my supporters support me. They know the way that, that my supporters support me. Yeah? They know! They know! Anywhere they go to in this world, they're no longer free. Because they think about what they did to me. And they think, oh, is it happening to them? Did somebody spit in their food? Did somebody put something dodgy in their food? Are they being recorded in their rooms? Guys, they do. They think about it all the time. They are no longer free. Forget the way that they are, forget the way that they are fronting. Forget the way they are fronting when you see them. They are fronting, they are fronting. They are no longer free. It is human behavior. Guys, it's human behavior. Somebody like me, I am honest. I'm honest. When I go somewhere, I, I think to myself, okay, let me pray before I eat this food. So if there's something that is dodgy in the food, you know, it will come out in my poo. Yeah? Because I'm an honest person. Because I'm somebody who is open and honest. Mm? That's why I tell you guys, when you're in the bathroom, don't just leave everything open anymore. Because of this world that we're living in. You know, get your shorts. If you're, get your shorts, uh, girls, cover up. You know, have that awareness. Because, because of these people that were so sick and twisted, we can no longer be free in our houses. Eh? So you have to cover up to the extent that you can cover up. Mm? And that's what I do. I cover up to the extent that I cover up. The one that I cannot cover. Then I say, mm, Jesus is Lord. So guys, that's it. Please take the salient important points from this video. They will help you in your life. They will help you in what you're doing. Jehovah, my Elohim, he is going to expose so many more people. He is. He's going to expose so many more people. People who have been doing what they shouldn't have been doing. If you feel in your intuition, because intuition is the voice of God. If your intuition tells you that you're being spied upon, that you're being recorded, try to do something about it. Try. Try your best to do something about it. Mm? Guys, you saw what happened to me. I took out all of the lights in this house. The people who said that they were going to help me. Mm, those people actually got more money than they gave me. The people that said that they were going to help me, the first thing that they did was put more lights in the house. Why? Because they want to see what I'm doing in this house. Mm? They want to see what I'm doing in this house. Mm? Over three years, I have not had sex with a man in over three years. So I believe that they, they, they weren't coming to see me having sex with a man. So they were coming to see the way that I eat fufu. Mm? Or they were coming to see the way that I smoke weed. Mm? Or they were coming to see the way that I pick my nose or my, or my butt. Like any other human being that does. Guys, the world has just become so twisted. The world has just become so twisted. What are you going to do? Sometimes I walk on the high street. People are communicating with me in a way that is so totally alien to somebody like me. But they are, but they're actually communicating with me. But they're not communicating with me in any kind of way that normal people of my generation communicate with each other. It's only God that I look to. It is only God that I look to because I know that I am not the odd one. I know that I am not the one that is odd. I know that for a fact. I know that I am not the one that is odd. Because if I saw something and it didn't make sense to me, I would just go to somebody and I would open my mouth and I would start talking. But sometimes you see people acting out on the main road. And I say to myself, God help us. God help us. Because truly, the flavor of this world, it has totally changed from what it used to be, the way people communicate, the way people relate to each other. Hmm? It's crazy. It really is crazy. But I know that there's so many good people in this world. So, if you're one of those people that wants to help me, you can help me in any way that helps me to do my job better. If you're one of those people that says, it's about time that Anne got a break, then you can do the needful. Yeah, 
If you want to give me money, you can give me money. There's nothing wrong with that. I see people on YouTube all of the time asking for money. That blatantly just asking for money. Hmm? If you want to sow a seed into this ministry, into this my YouTube, if you're one of those people that says, oh, I like it when Anne does luxury. I like it when Anne does this. Or I would like to see Anne go abroad. If you want to help me, you can help me without feeling guilty. There's absolutely no reason why you should feel guilty. After all, it is one of my Spartas that left £3,000 for me to find. Yeah, it's one of my Spartas that did it, obviously, for me to find that £3,000. Out of £3,000, somebody stole a 1000 Guys, I said to myself, guys, it hurt so much. It hurt so much. It hurt so much that somebody stole that thousand pounds out of the three thousand pounds that somebody left for me to find. It hurt so much because I was giving people 50 pound on the road. <sighs> Why the fuck am I crying in this video? I didn't want to cry on, on the internet. But it hurt so much. It hurt so much that out of that money, I was giving people 50 pound here and there almost every other day. But still, somebody had the mind to steal that money from me. Guys, I'm talking about it now and it's still so painful. Hmm? I just said to myself, they couldn't just let me have that moment. Hmm? Huh? They couldn't just let me have that moment to just enjoy that money and just feel normal like a normal human being. They still had to come into this house. Whatever way they did it, they still had to steal a thousand pounds out of that money just to punish me. So guys, yesterday I prayed that prayer. I said, God, make me more ruthless than some of the people who have hurt me. Make me more ruthless than them, but not in a way that makes me offend my God. God, make me to be more ruthless than the people that hurt me, but not in a way that makes me offend my God. So guys, I'm ready to ruin them. I am. I'm ready to ruin them. I am. I am ready to ruin them. I'm ready to ruin them. I am. I'm ready to ruin them. Some of them will not work again in their life. Some of them will not see anything like work again ever in their life. They won't. Some of them will not see anything like work in their life. Some of them will not work again in their life. They won't. I will make sure of it. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but it will happen. What am I even saying? All I have to do is say it. I've already said it. Some of them will never work again a day in their life. Some of them will never have what they call peace of mind. Some of them won't have peace of mind. Anywhere they go to in this world, their brain, their brain will be in overdrive because they will be wondering about what they eat. They will be wondering about who is watching them. They will be wondering about who they can trust. Guys, I have entered them. I have entered them in the worst way. I'm ready to ruin them. I am. I am ready to ruin some of them. Some of them, some of them, your children will grow up not ever hearing their name because they won't know who they are. Because, what? They will be in oblivion. They will be in oblivion. Nobody will know their name ever again. People will not even know that they ever existed. Hmm? That's how far I'm willing to go with some of them. Hmm? Some of them, their name is going to be removed from this earth. Like I said, some of you that are younger than me, your children will grow up not knowing who those people ever were. They won't. They won't. That's how far I am willing to go. I'm going to ruin them. I am. I'm going to ruin some of them to the extent that nobody will ever know their name on this earth ever again. Thanks for watching.